everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel hope you all doing well so today i am going to discuss about the deb uh, debilitated venus venus is considered debilitated when it is placed in the sign of virgo that is kanya rashi at 27 degrees so if you have venus in the sign of virgo then this video is for you okay so let's begin uh, now people have a lot of fear about the spouse and marriage marriage marital life if venus is debilitated now one thing you need to understand is debilitation doesn't mean that it is only bad okay there's always something good even in worst cases okay and there are numerous benefits and examples of people being more happy successful and wealthy with debilitated planets than exalted planets okay debilitation means that the significance of the planet um, or the nature of the planet doesn't find home in that particular sign and that's the reason why it becomes weak when we are forced to stay at a place where we are not happy we dislike that place okay then we won't be in a in the best mood okay and we would stay irritated and frustrated and our mind also may become lost uh, but debilitation also gives wealth material success and in the case of uh, venus uh, it gives beautiful home luxury and spouse as well because when a planet is debilitated it ceases to use its ethical or morally righteous nature when we are forced to stay in a certain situation or circumstances which we dislike we want to escape it quickly thus the bad side becomes more prominent in us we become rebellious and want to seek any way which can help us to get out of that situation okay that's the reason why debilitated planet offers more wealth uh, more finances more success than exalted planets because there is higher courage risk-taking capability and a desire or ambition or the passion okay to get what uh, what one desires or what one wants at any cost okay the planet wants to survive and wants to overcome the challenges and free itself so your one is not uh, much morally righteous or hesitant to gain something okay on the contrary exalted planet may even lose opportunity uh, or money for morals okay because there is lots of uh, this nature uh, the debilitation nature is not about right and wrong uh, you just want to uh, you know get out of that situation and uh, uh, because it is uh, in a very restrictive environment so it becomes rebellious it challenges the situation and it is um, and there's too much of courage there's too much of risk taking capability rebelliousness okay so there's lots of drive and ambition uh, with the debilitation planet whereas exaltation planet is always about what is right what is law uh, lawful what is legal okay what i am supposed to do okay what is right uh, what is morally right so the thinking okay the uh, is based on this uh, this line okay so debilitation and exaltation doesn't mean uh, only good or only bad okay uh, everything is not black and white not even our life no matter how worst it is there's still hope if you haven't given up okay there's still so much you can do at whatever age at whatever situation you are so you cannot judge debilitation means only bad or exaltation means only good okay debilitation just has to do with the nature and significance of two contradictory entities coming together as a placement okay now talking about venus and virgo now venus is considered to be debilitated in the sign of virgo virgo is a sign ruled by venus's friend that is mercury but venus is still not comfortable in this sign why now again two opposites coming together venus is what venus is love romance girlfriends and spouse for a man marriage or marital bliss for both the genders luxury comforts home beauty etc it's a soft and gentle planet that represents relationships and bonding virgo on the other hand is an earth sign but a barren infertile land it is a very critical perfection oriented detail oriented very calculative uh, strategic and analytical sign Virgo is the exaltation sign of Mercury and it represents all the non-communicative and serious kind of attributes. Love cannot be forced or controlled, right? People aren't perfect or un uh, people are unique in themselves, okay? So people aren't perfect or idealist, okay, that you can scan them, analyze them, criticize them, judge them, 
change them as you wish and then love them okay after making the changes it doesn't happen like that okay love flows accepts and sees the beauty which no one has appreciated virgo on the other hand it restricts it is a very conditional sign if lots of terms and conditions are imposed love cannot exist right so venus is also a all kind of venus represents all kind of love spiritual love romantic love self love uh, devotional love okay venus is basically relationship and love okay uh, and it's also wisdom because it is guru shukracharya who also was a very learned person uh, sanjeevni vidya right so here what happens is when venus is in the sign of virgo one has trouble to ex- one finds it difficult to express love to be expressive in love to be spiritual to love someone unconditionally and accept someone as it is and love them one loses one's idealist uh, this uh, aspect idealist means healthy idealist not uh, this uh, uh, you know imagining something that is uh, that doesn't ex- uh, that doesn't uh, Uh, that is not real okay but very uh, your one uh, loses one's idealist means uh, you know uh, it's very critical very perfection oriented and that perfection definition is very misplaced okay uh, one also loses one righteous nature one spiritual nature okay and is focused more on material aspect that's why it does give material success and wealth uh, depending on the overall chart okay Now, love is what first and foremost to accept that person and bring out a better side of them, and then boost their positive qualities. In love, you need peace, comfort, and respect. Right? Loyalty comes much later. Space comes much later because if there is understanding, everything follows. Right? Now, here what happens is Virgo is the original six thousand Kal Purush Kundli, okay, which represents repetitive work, daily. uh daily goals competition deaths diseases obstacles and things that gives us challenges so with this placement you may seek someone who is perfect okay and who is very uh, you have that very dreamier kind of uh, uh you know uh, uh, kind of desire like you want a kind of dreamy girl or boy like that you know the uh, in in the teenage where uh, uh, persons whom uh, uh, whom everyone wants to date or had a crush on kind of person and then you want to you know uh, you wish that if that person approached you uh, kind of uh, you know uh, this thinking very perfection very idealist uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, you know a desire okay uh, because see the definition or philosophy of love your is not correct okay is misplaced here because uh, just getting someone who is uh, 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 you know uh, famous is not the right kind of uh, uh, thinking okay uh, there needs to be lot of factors a uh, lot of aspect to love someone that uh, uh, that one only understands after uh, one attains maturity okay so here what happens is lot of analysis goes in relationships with virgo it makes a people pleaser or someone who is seeking validation of others okay to take uh, to confirm one's decision why it is because see virgo is a sixth house originally and it shows someone constantly working to get noticed and appreciated for their work okay so they can be promoted so they can get a uh, higher status okay higher salary higher designation it's a house of job and service right sixth house is the original house of job and service and competitions so here one craves too much love and attention uh, one wants to get noticed okay and one also seek relationships that are famous that are uh, uh, you know uh, that are elite elite people they they uh, they are they take pride in having uh, those kind of relationships even their love relationships okay uh, but here what happens is virgo is a sign of criticism and perfection so one is uh, uh, one falls in love and one you know uh, gets into relationship or uh, so uh, things like that happen but then one is crit- uh, uh one starts judging that person okay so one is not okay or uh, kind of flexible enough okay to accept the person as it is okay uh because it's a perfection and detail oriented side uh, the person uh, the relationships uh, the person goes into the detail aspects of relationships okay uh, very detail oriented very perfection kind of uh, uh, you know thinking 
it's an infertile sign as well so there can be some karma uh, with relationship as well like you could be living away from each other for some reason uh, for some period of time uh, because there's a karma especially if you are a man as venus represents wife in a man's chart now i'm not talking about separation or divorce uh, that we have to see the whole or chart but i'm uh, talking about like you you two could be uh, living separately like uh, maybe for work purposes okay you are living uh, somewhere else and then your spouse is living somewhere else uh, some kind of separation maybe years of separation can happen like living separately okay things like that so that can happen uh, then uh, your uh, person may also have several conditions to be met to love someone it is as well a fixed sign or sign so partners can also be loyal but there can be some issues that you have to deal with them okay uh, they have a very strategic analytical or calculative mindset with finances love luxury women beauty home comforts okay and venus is also creativity so creativity glam and glitter um, so with art okay art so here there is very uh, you know strategic approach very analytical approach very calculative approach about everything okay uh, venus is also self love so it also shows one can also be insecure about one's looks and appearance and the way they bond with others okay uh, these people uh, you know they body shame themselves like they criticize themselves they are, they, they are constantly thinking like oh i'm not looking good oh i have gained weight or i'm not uh, you know uh, i don't look good i i do i'm not uh, good looking person something like that okay they they criticize their own appearance they are not very satisfied or they don't accept themselves the way they are okay and they are very practical people as well so in relationships uh, they they may find romance and cheesy talks to be quite boring okay uh, quite uh, quite boring and quite uh, you know not uh, not unrealistic uh, quite unrealistic uh, th uh, thing okay and there may also be a tendency to judge others and find faults in them um they may start criticizing others or may judge others okay virgo is also infertile barren sign so when you put a soft blossoming rose here it's not going to thrive in that harsh environment right there has to be some adjustments made either you walk to where roses comfortable or bring cactus that can grow in that environment so what i'm saying see moral of the story is lot of adjustments will be required in marriage for these folks because one is insecure unsatisfied and requires the constant efforts to improve the matters related to venus okay one is not satisfied with what one has uh, be it love home comforts beauty and whatever venus represents you may always feel a lack of something uh some some kind of emptiness okay some uh, something is missing um and find it also difficult to stick to routines or fixed work or a job because sixth house represents job okay so these people can also be uh, into uh, some accounts or calculative work uh, okay and if you are a male you could also be surrounded by mature serious women who could be critical of you okay on the positive side these people can be very good designer or artist because now they'll improve and work hard to bring uh, that art to perfection they'll create masterpieces they can also be into healthcare like gynecologist and even designing softwares or apps okay a venus is a purest form of love and when it is placed in the virgo uh, it has terms and conditions attached to it this doesn't mean they have difficulty having relationships or uh, love and romance in their life but they are not satisfied with what they have even their own natural beauty they don't accept it wholeheartedly they are always uh, uh, they, they are always uh, focusing on things that are missing okay uh, the flaws their their focus is not on what is uh, what exists what is beautiful their their focus is on what is missing what is uh, flawed okay uh, what is imperfect okay uh, because virgo is a detail oriented sign is a perfection oriented sign okay and you can't love someone nitpicking every attribute of them like right? you can't judge them oh this is good you have a good face but you don't have good hands or you don't have good hair something like that okay on that line you 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 accept the person as it is okay and uh, so what happens uh, 
because they are very uh, judgmental very analytical what happens as a result is they don't find anyone worth dating okay they, they they feel that no this is not worth dating and by the time they desire for someone they choose the wrong partners okay because uh, they are also insecure it, uh, 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 you know uh, so they they also have trust issues they develop trust issues as well okay they uh, here so one is also very reserved and shy and uh, cannot trust people uh, easily okay and here one may also be focused on materialistic aspect uh, and practical uh, aspect then romantic side okay they are not very expressive they are not very romantic they are very practical and materialistic side okay so in a nutshell it uh, it does create some issues uh, with venusian attributes especially relationships because venus uh, significance is basically love and relationships that's the main significance of venus and even comforts luxuries uh, and it can be any kind of love okay self love as well so there can be some cold and critical approach to love it can also cause some delay in marriage or may also cause separation but whole chart needs to confirm this okay and i have not considered conjunction aspects nakshatras navamsha um etc which may add or subtract uh, anything that i have said in the analysis all right so i hope it resonated with you if you found it helpful do like comment share and subscribe i also do personal readings so if you are interested in consultations details are given in the description below take care of yourself and make the best of this shravan month by being very spiritual and uh, religious because this is only month where you can get rid of your uh, you know uh, bad deeds okay and ask god uh, for its blessings and forgiveness uh, may god bless every one of us okay so see you in my next one okay bye bye take care